What is going on, my beautiful people? I know by the title of this video, you already know what it's about, but I'm super excited because I went to Bass Pro this morning and I picked up the Muddy Manifest cellular trail camera. So they were running a deal on this trail camera. I think it was regular, like 130-esque price, and they had it for 100 bucks, 100 bucks even. It was 99.99. Um, of course, we have tax here, so we had to pay the tax on top of that. But this is the first cellular trail camera that I've ever really been interested in just because of the price point. I mean, 100 bucks, it's muddy, a decent brand that I trust. And this is kind of one of their newer 2020 lineup cameras. So I had to pick it up and I just set it up. It's super easy to set this thing up. And for the unlimited pictures a month, it's like $12. So I don't know about you guys, but I can spend $12 a month on a lot of stupid stuff, whether that be candy or sodas or random things. And deer cameras are something that's really important to me. And what's nice about it is this is actually a month to month subscription. Now they have annual plans and stuff like that, but I can get this by a plan and set this camera up for October through February when deer season is or probably June through February and monitor deer. So I really like that about this camera. You don't have to get that annual plan and it's fairly budget friendly. So, I mean, all in all to get this camera, to get it set up and to get the pictures coming to my phone, it's what we'll say 150 bucks. We'll round it, we'll include tax and we'll say that that's for a yearly fee or for a couple months of subscription, we'll say 150 bucks. But as I was saying, to be able to get those pictures coming to my phone so I can see the deer in real time, that's that's something that I'm gonna be looking forward to and it's something I'm gonna check daily just because I'm that weird and like to know what the deer are doing. But anyways guys, that is my plan. I'm gonna go, I have just a spot in mind where I wanna put out this trail camera. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna head to the field, we're gonna put it in and uh, I'm basically gonna let it sit for a couple weeks take a look at the pictures on my phone, pull the SD card, put them on a computer, look at them that way, and we'll see what happens. So as you can tell, we have made it to the woods and we're actually in one of my favorite spots to monitor deer. And we're gonna be able to get a great test of just what this camera's capable of. So as you can see, we have a kill plot with a stand right there. And I know that over the past two weeks, does have been tearing up this food plot and it's growing really well. And if you wanna see me put this food plot in, check the video up above, but I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this camera mounted up on this tree, looking back over the food plot. That way we'll be able to see the does, potentially bucks, whatever might come into this area before we move this camera to a different location. But before I get into that, I'm sure some of you guys are interested about the specs, so we'll go ahead and go over that. So it says it's got an 80 foot detection and flash range. Um, I'm assuming it's got a black light flash, but it could have a regular flash. I'm not certain to be honest with you. Um, it's got, one to three photo burst and eight second trigger speed all of that you or 0.8 second excuse me 0.8 second trigger speed all of that can be updated by the stealth cam command app so you can change all of that from your phone it's it's super easy to do that um, power 4 ir emitters so it shouldn't have a real flash it should have infrared so that's good and i'm sure the 20 megapixels isn't quite true but it says it's 20 megapixels day and night if that's true that's really good but usually those are a little bit higher than they really are so i would imagine it's somewhere between 14 and 16. uh image detailed color and then black and white at night time color during the day four power infrared emitters 0.8 second trigger speed so that's not the best uh, recovery time out 3 to 59 seconds or a minute to 59 seconds for video. No, it doesn't do video. It's just photos. It goes camera, date, time, moon phase, detection range of 80 feet, holds up to a 32 gigabyte capacity SD card, and it's got a latch integrated camera housing. And then, of course, you have all the features and that control app, so you can even see where you have them on a map. So it's a really cool system simple easy to use cellular activation with quick scan qr setup i mean that sentence right there describes it but i'm gonna stop reading the specs i mean that's all the specs we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get this on the tree and we're gonna see how it works and hopefully even tonight we'll get some pictures so i'm really excited guys all right so as you can see we have it mounted to the tree back behind us and i was just trying to make sure we're all in frame 
Uh, all you have to do is turn it on and wait for these dots to start to blink and uh, it'll it'll kind of say everything is, is good to go. But you can do that and you can even go in and press sync and what it'll do is it'll go ahead and it'll take a picture and send it to your app. And uh, I can go ahead and open up the app on my phone as well. Go into my whole little hunting folder here and I'm gonna open up the command app. And so it says, you know, I got three bars of signal. I have full battery. It says I have no photos uploaded yet, which is true. And we're still waiting for that to get set up. So as you can see, that last light's blinking once they're all three green. Like it just turned, you hit sync. And what that should do is it should cause it to take a picture and send it over. And so it should be a picture of what's going to be behind this trail camera. But at least I'll know that it's then taking pictures. And what's nice is you can even go in on this app and you can delete pictures. You can save the pictures, text them, email them, you can do all kinds of stuff. So I'm really, really excited to have this camera. And the fact that I can take it and put it on our hunting land and put it in a spot where I'm not going to go too often or a spot where I think a bunch of big bucks are going to go. I can get my scent in there one time and then just pull the SD card when I want to check it and basically look at anything and see what's in that area once I get this camera set up. I don't know how good the battery is going to be. So that's one thing that I'm going to have to worry about. But I think it should be fine. It says like two years, which we all know is not necessarily true. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close this and walk around and see if I can't get it to trigger and then just take a look and see what the camera's gonna look like. And I'm just gonna kind of walk through this field. As you can see, we got throw and grow seed over here. Um, you probably didn't know that, but I did a test where I compared throw and grow a cheaper no-till plot versus a more expensive no-till plot. And I'm not gonna go through all those differences because you need to go watch that video. I'll link it up above for you, but it's, I think it's worth a watch. I think it's really good to see that comparison and see what the two different styles of throw and grow seeds bring. But I know right in here is an area where a lot of deer eat, and you can tell they've eaten crap out of that. But we have a very nice little kill plot right in here with a good mixture of all kinds of different stuff and a stand right there, 20, 30 yards, with some cover when they first come in out of this river bottom. So I'm really, really excited about that. And uh, I'm hoping that this trail camera's taking a couple photos of me that it'll send to me and we'll be able to see. And if some deer come in, I'm expecting some might come in this afternoon. And if not, definitely in the morning. But this is something that I'm so excited to watch and see what happens. So it's like a little Christmas present. It's like checking my trail camera every day. It's going to be fantastic. I'm going to get out of here. We have five days now, five or six days till bow season. And <laughs> as you can see from that facial expression, I... I'm excited. So I'm going to go ahead, skedaddle on out of here, and hopefully we'll catch you guys with some big bucks in the next video. All right, everybody, we made it back to the house. We've had the muddy trail camera, the manifest, out for three or four days, and we've had a couple pictures come in. I'll swipe through some of the ones on my phone and show you how the Stealth Command app works, and uh, then we're going to take a look at the pictures from the card itself and see the difference between the pictures as they're uploaded to the app and the pictures that are actually on the SD card. So one thing that I did notice in going to the app, and I'll have these pictures playing on screen for you, is the pictures are a little blurry. They're really not the best quality. The daytime photos tend to be a lot better than the nighttime photos, but for whatever reason, they're still a little grainy, they're still a little blurry, and uh, I don't have the box in front of me right now, but I'm pretty sure it said that it's a 20 megapixel camera. So I don't know if the way that it uploads them to the app is a lower resolution than that or not. It definitely appears to be, but I'm hoping that when we plug the SD card in, it'll give us a little better idea of the picture quality and everything like that on the camera, and we'll see if it actually is 20 megapixels. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you are gonna get this camera, is that the uploads on the phone aren't near as clear as a regular resolution camera. Um, in my opinion, but if the SD card still works just as well, then that gives me a little bit of a better idea of what I'm getting. Um, I don't necessarily mind a little grainy photo, especially since it's sending them to my phone and because it's a budget-friendly camera. So I'm not necessarily upset about it um, because I can I can see, you know, I can I can see that, oh, okay, there's a buck. I can see that there's clearly antlers 
and he's been coming the past two days so I should be able to sneak in there today and he'll be there as well and then of course I can pull the card when I'm in there hunting and see okay well this is exactly what that deer is so that's the way I look at it but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna flip through some of these pictures um, as you delete them off of the app it doesn't delete them from the SD card so that's one thing to also keep in mind but let's th uh, thumb through these pictures real fast so yeah I just wanted to make sure and looking at the box it does say you know 20 megapixels so i don't know 20 megapixels day and night that's interesting to me because i don't think these photos are actually 20 megapixels because even the photos that are on this cam and i guess i could have some settings not correct but even just like looking through these they're not the highest quality of photos i definitely have some other Cheaper trail cameras that take, in my opinion, higher quality photos than this. But yeah, that's pretty interesting to me that the quality just doesn't necessarily seem to be that high. Now I get it, it's $100 cameras, what I paid for it, they're advertising it is like $130. They're advertising this camera as 20 megapixels, but I don't see it. I really don't, because I know that I have some other trail cameras that are 16 megapixels, and they take higher quality photos than this. So I'm not sure, you know, if that was just something that they're doing, if it's really 20 megapixels and maybe I don't have a setting correct or something like that, but the photo quality I'm not impressed with. However, the budget friendliness of this, I'm very impressed with. So, I mean, it's a cellular camera that's $100 and I'm not big into cellular cameras. This is the first one I've ever had, but for $100, I mean, I think that's not bad most trail cameras typically run around a hundred dollars if you're going to get a decent one it will send photos to your phone which i really like that way i know when the deer are there and i don't have to go check them all the time it's fairly cheap to get unlimited photos so there's a couple different plans and you can get various groups of photos but for unlimited photos for a, a month it's 15 dollars. if you pay 15 dollars a month you can get unlimited photos to your camera if you go ahead and pre-buy the full year, it drops it to $12 a month. So it's $144 for a year. Break that down $12 a month, which to me, that's a pretty cheap deal. Like I was saying earlier in the video, you know, I can spend $12 on a lot of stupid stuff. I mean, just going to Walmart one time and buying a couple fishing lures, boom, $12. Going and buy one bag of attractant, boom, $12. So it adds up quickly but i like having this because it's still something that brings me joy first off and i enjoy being able to see deer and watching deer grow and knowing what's in my food plots and when and the fact that i could be sitting in one stand and get notification that a buck's at another stand would let me know hey maybe you should go hunt that stand so for me i think it's worth it if you're new to cellular cameras like i am i'm not upset and i'm really excited about this camera and i'm about to put it in a place where I don't want to have to go and check my camera very often. So what I've done is I've e-scouted a location and it's kind of off the beaten trail. It's not a place where a lot of people are going to go and set up and there's not going to be a lot of human traffic in general. So what I can do is I can go in, set this camera up and leave and be done with it and get the notification on my phone when deer are there what deer are there and know, okay, well, they're gonna pass through here at this time, on this day, on this moon phase, on this wind, whatever, and make sure I'm sitting there during those times. So I'm really excited about that. And that location is gonna be its own video. So I hope you guys subscribe to the channel if you have not. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and we will get into the verse of the week. So one thing when I was doing a bunch of research on these cellular cameras, is that you have to put them in an area where there is cell service which i know that makes sense but i had never really thought of that because if you put it in a place where there's no cell service there's no way for it to communicate with your device and no way for it to get to you and i know a lot of the times when it comes to religion it's really easy for us to feel alone or feel that god's not with us because we're so small our lives have to be insignificant you know, he's got to be working other plans in other areas of his life. Well, that isn't necessarily true. Because you see, if you look at Deuteronomy, and this is Deuteronomy 31.6, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. 
For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. And I don't know about in your life, but in my life, God's word is the ultimate authority. You know, when things happen, I always ask, what does the Bible say? What should I do? Let me pray about it. And God's word is ultimately what I'll do, whatever I feel like he's telling me to do. So with his word being the ultimate authority, you know, God's made a bunch of promises and he's never broken one. So if he says, I will never leave you or forsake you, then he means it. He's not going to leave you. He's not going to forsake you. He can't run out of service. You cannot get away from his service. Believe me, Jonah tried. And if you read that story, you can find out that Jonah tried to run and uh, he couldn't. So no matter where you go, no, where, no matter where you find yourself, God's not going to leave you or forsake you. Now, you may think that he has because you may not like the actions that have occurred. You may not like what happened, but you don't know the full picture. Proverbs 3, 5, don't trust your own understanding, but with all things, trust in God. And that's my interpretation of it. That's not word for word, so don't quote me on that. But that's basically the premise, you know. God will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. He's always with you. You cannot run out of his signal or out of his reach or bandwidth or any kind of technical term you want to use. God is always there. So anyways, guys, today is the day before deer season, and I am super pumped to wake up in the morning and spend some time in God's creation in the woods and chase after some of these deer. So if you enjoy hunting, if you enjoy fishing, if you want to grow as a hunter or a fisherman, by all means, subscribe to this channel, and you might learn a little bit about faith as well. So let us sign off for now. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. Hope if you were getting this camera, you enjoy it. And always remember, when nature calls or God calls, Better answer. Peace out.